Every forest that we see today plays a big role in our world. They are the world's lungs and give us everything we need to live. However, the increasing demand for more land, deforestation, and even the effects brought about by climate change have greatly decreased our forests. The good news is that we have ways to conserve and protect them. The Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources has continuously developed and supported initiatives like the Forest Tree Seed Centers that ensure the quality of seeds primarily for the reforestation of our forests. With six seed centers around the Philippines, each one is designed to test, document, and store seeds to support the reforestation activities of DENR. The seed centers have the same facilities, utilize high-quality materials, and apply standardized practices to ensure proper documentation, record-keeping, tests, and distribution to all parts of the country. It might not sound as a surprise, but the job of the seed centers is not easy and usually involves different stages. The first one is seed collection. Field managers determine the purpose of their collection, identify the plant species for collection, and the quantity needed. The seed collectors identify the right time to collect the seeds. They also assess the plant's phenology or plant development, including the weather and area that influence their growth. The collection of seeds and fruits are based on the species of the tree, its size, and the site condition. One, they time their visit just when the fruits are about to fall. Two, they climb to the top of the trees, use poles or climbing equipment to collect from the crown. And three, they gather the fruits from trees and carefully pack them for transportation. Botanical specimens are also gathered to certify the source and identify the seeds. Seed collectors follow a strict documentation process and give each seed a tracking number. Samples are carefully cleaned and placed in breathable cotton bags to be transported back to the seed center. Step 2. Seed Processing Once the samples arrive at the seed center, they undergo six stages. The seeds and fruits are pre-cleaned to remove debris and examine their quality. Some fruits are depulped by soaking them in water until they are soft enough to be mashed without injuring the seed. They are cleaned again to remove all impurities. The seeds are naturally dried in the field when the weather is hot or inside the center's drying room for one to two days. The dried seeds are cleaned again with the process called winnowing. Lastly, seeds are brought to the laboratory to be registered with their own unique code called the seed lot number. Step 3. Seed Testing Seed technologists do this to check and provide information on the seed's health. Seed testers do a purity analysis by checking the purity of the working sample to identify the purity of the seeds. After that, they do a seed count to determine the actual number per kilogram based on the sample. Once the number of pure seeds is identified and counted, they test the sample's moisture content. Seed testers check the seeds' health by placing them in petri dishes or trays and incubate them for more than five days to see if there is fungal and bacterial growth. They also check the seeds' viability through germination testing for at least 30 days. They look for sprouted seeds that have firm white embryos and take note of the number that did not germinate and have abnormal growth. The last step is seed storage. It's a way to preserve seeds longer so they can be effectively used at the ideal planting time. Seed technologists carefully store the seeds in a cool, well-ventilated, dry, and dark place to avoid decay, pests, and diseases. Every forest tree seed center has a cold storage with a temperature of negative 20 degrees Celsius for seed storage. Protocol developments on seed germination are also done in the forest tree seed centers to know the best way to germinate the seeds. With the continued efforts of forest tree seed centers, we are significantly closer to preserving and reforesting our forest ecosystems here in the Philippines. ERDB, Innovating for Sustainable Ecosystems.